what could be helpful is first identifying what is it that I'm feeling and the second very important step that can be helpful is being okay with whatever you're feeling it's okay if you're feeling sad or worried or scared or uncertain or confused or frustrated all of those things are okay so to name name it label it um, and then really just do anything that brings you comfort anything that's healthy for you Maya Angelou said that if you don't like something, you should change it. And if you can't change it, then change your attitude about it. This whole thing has a lot of unknown. It's out of our control. And so when we're having anxiety and stress, control what we can and what we can't, replace it with something that brings joy. Do you like to read? Do you like to watch a movie? Do you just need some time in a dark room with some deep breaths and some rest? Do something for someone else. Anything that brings you joy will help replace that stress and anxiety. So in coping with worry, um, I have been working with our Harmon Hawks about um, strategies that they can use. And one of the strategies is putting their left hand on their heart and taking their right hand and putting it on their stomach and rubbing their stomach. It produces serotonin and that can help um, reduce worries and stress and the negative feelings. I'm more of a visual person and so I like to think of coping with worry and stress like uh, water flowing. If you try and stop the water, it'll build up and move around that blockage. But if you watch the water flow by from a distance, it creates more of a calming feeling almost. And so recognizing those worries and stresses and just seeing them move back down the river or creek will help. We try to um, teach our kids when we're in school in our social emotional learning classes um, some strategies to help them with coping and worry and some of the ones that we teach are you know to practice deep breathing, some mindfulness, to make sure they get plenty of exercise and rest. Those are the most important things. Sometimes stress gets a bad rap, but we all need stress, right? That use stress is something that motivates us to function to the best of our ability every day and, and whatever that day holds. When the stress moves into distress and we don't have the skills to manage it and get that distress back to baseline to where it's functioning and helpful for us, that leads to the worry and anxiety. And that's really when we need to pull in our tools to bring ourselves back to balance. Here at Combs We Care. Hashtag Combs Cares. Here at Combs, we care. Hashtag Combs Cares.